Good evening, uh, Coach Manyang. Good evening, Adyet. Yes. And uh, I want to welcome you all again. Um, yes. Coach, um, this is the second game of uh, Cobra Sports in this uh, Basketball Africa League uh, second season. Yes. And um, we we see a lot of we see a lot of heart. We see a lot of ambition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we don't have the results that follow. Yes. Are you optimistic for the next three games of the competition and what could be the turnaround for your, for your side? Yeah, I, I think we're, sti we're, we're definitely still optimistic uh, in the tournament. Uh, we think we've played the two toughest teams so far. Um, uh, we didn't have a good day in the office today, obviously. You know, like um, uh, the Luanda is a, is a really good team. They, uh, we, we, we didn't have the right matchups. So, um, you know, they had a good, uh, they had a good, they shot the ball really well. And, um, you know, they ha gave us a hard time, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, offensively because their defense was uh, really going well. So, um, and when, when I look at here, uh, yeah. you know, the, the points, mm -hmm. you know, points from turnovers, you know, that, uh, that's a big difference there. So, we're looking to, to rebound back tomorrow. We've got a game tomorrow, so yeah, we're looking to get better. Yet before I hand it back to do you share the same opinion of the coach? Are the players uh, optimistic about the rest of the competition in terms of the, 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 the kind of ambition that you guys came with from in, yeah. into this competition? Uh, yeah, every game we have to come in mm -hmm. and think you know, that we have to win because you know, this is a, we have to, every game is important, you know. Um, today, it was, a, it was a bad one, but we got it out the way. Um, we have to learn from it, but we have to forget about it because we have a game tomorrow to fix all our mistakes and you know continue to do all the, the other good stuff that we did. All right. Uh, the floor is now open for questions. We, we've got to play. We've got to play much we need harder. The microphone to be on, please. We, mm -hmm. the microphone has to be on. Good. Can you have to take your question again, uh, Julio? Right. Good. Yes. Absolutely, you know we uh, we we think we we still have a competing chance uh, in the tournament. We think we've played the two toughest teams, so um, we're looking to rebound tomorrow and come back. We have to play more aggressive. That's what I've told uh, my team. We have to we have to be better defensively and offensively. So our defensive transition and our offensive transition has to be has to be uh, has to get better. So. Um, so we're optimistic uh, that uh, these three games that are left uh, will be able to uh, compete and win them. You know, so um, so we're, we're still we're, the hope is still up uh, uh, within uh, uh, within our group. Uh, we think we played the two toughest teams. So um, and we we'll continue to get better. You know, we we'll continue to um, uh, to build uh, team chemistry as the tournament goes. So so we're looking forward to the next three games. Question. Yes. Uh, did you see that you're going to face uh, any more challenges since you lost the two previous games? Every, every game is going to be tough. Uh, my players know that. Uh, it's going to be tough and we were prepared to come out and, and face the competition. And, and work really, really hard to try and win every, all the other games that are left. You will in the matches like this, it will be hard for them, but they try to do the best they can to win all the Any other questions? Yes, Julie. I mean, you know, after a game like this, you know, people are usually down, but it's me, myself, I just try to, you know, keep the spirits up because we can't, 
carry the, this type of mood over to the next game. And you know, as you said, the turnovers, me, myself, I had seven. I have to fix that immediately. Um, we had 27 as a team. Uh, we had 12 assists to our 27 turnovers, which is a terrible ratio. That's one main area that we have to fix. And if we fix that, I feel like we'll be straight for the next few games. Every game is a championship. Um, <laughs> you have to go out there to try to win, to get into Rwanda, because that's the main goal. Um, other than that, yeah, every game we had just have to play like it's our last. All right, Wang, it was, it was you today scoring uh, 15 points during the, the first game uh, against uh, Zamalek was uh, Mayan, who put out a very powerful performance. And we find out, found out that um, the team has very strong in individual talent. How, l looking forward to the next three games, how can you guys sit together with, of course, the guidance and direction of the coach to be able to pull together these uh, talents and make sure that you know the next three games will be decisive for your uh, move to Kigali? Um, I mean, we're professionals, so we have to learn how to play with each other. Um, I feel like every game, every practice, we're getting better and better slowly. But the next game, you know, we just have to put everything together. You're welcome. But Jose, um, we've just, um, uh, we're just living witnesses to another crushing uh, victory by your club. Um, just one question, a one line. Is the team overly confident or you're just doing your job? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think the team is confident and execute um, the the game plan correctly, perfect. So when I see 129 in efficiency, it's crazy. So this number is it's very important for, for me and for our team and our, our job because uh, 27 assistants. So we played like a team. If we can play like a team, I, I think we can go far in this competition. Yeah, do, you, do you share the same uh, analysis of, of, with the <coughs> coach and uh, how, I, I mean, we, we, we just feel like, okay, um, let's just fast forward things and get to, to, to Kigali. Is that the impression that the, the uh, coaches have? <laughs> no, not really. I feel like we still have a lot of room to grow. Mm -hmm. We still got to get better every day. And the thing about this team is like everybody in any given night can get hot. So that's what we live in. Uh, Every day we're just coming in, get better, get better, and we're going to continue to do that. Yannick first. <laughs> the, um, older, the oldest first. <laughs> I, mean, um, I don't know. I know the Zamale coach pretty well. He know me. He know everybody in our locker room pretty well. Um, I mean, we're not even going to think about it right now. We're just going to go home, celebrate this victory, and tomorrow we're going to start thinking about Zamalek. I don't know what Coach have in mind. I just know Coach Will pretty well. I know he got he has some tricks in his mind for us. So we just got to watch that game tonight and be ready for whatever the coach prepared for us. All right, Nick. We have a great game, no? <laughs> Namalek and Petro in this time, I think uh, it's a great game. So we are preparing for this game six months, six months. Not just for this game, but last game. Each game we are preparing. Yeah. So we put the focus in each game. The most important game for us is always the next. So now, uh, until now, the most important game for us is Cobra. But now, the, the most important game is Amalek. So now, now we prepare the game, we put the folks, watch the game now, and wait, wait for Friday. <laughs> All right, Coach, um, there has been much talk about the, the depth of the Petrol plus the Luanda team, you know, in terms of the players coming in from the bench. When we look at the, the stats today, we have uh, 41 points uh, coming from, wow. from, 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 from the bench. I mean, uh, before this encounter, do you think that at any point in this competition, you can shuffle the cards and bring in any player and still get the, res the, the results that you had today? I believe 
to win this tournament or a tournament, a tournament like that, it's impossible to win only with good players. We need these players make a good team. And I think that when I see this, this number, <laughs> it's amazing. So I believe in my team, I believe in the bench. If uh, 13 players that are st stay here, they are prepared to, to stay on the court and, uh, and a play for the victory for, for us. And we also noted the impressive play time you gave to uh, the BL elevate player, yeah. man, 17 minutes, and that's impressive. I think that's one of the longest uh, playing times we've seen here at the, the Nile Conference. I like him too much, man. <laughs> hey, it's, this, this player, it's, uh, it's amazing. I like too much. He can play in the both sides of the court. He understands the, what, uh, what our purpose about the game. Yeah. Because our team play like this, you know, with purpose. So I think Yannick can can talk better about him because <laughs> he's with him and uh, a great player. It's for us. It's an honor um, share with him the the experience, the the opportunity to play in this game. It's a great it's a great uh, idea from Bo to input some some players the elevate program. Uh, I think it's a great day, a perfect. I, I believe in this 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 idea. You do it on four. Ah. Okay. Um, this is how we play every every game, each game. I I, I talk to my players that the the best the best um, mode that we can respect the opponent is give your best. Uh, not just on on sports, but in the life. If you can. Give for the other your best, you show your respect. For uh, 40 minutes, we will respect, respect the opponent. Um, I think it's, this is mindset that you put in the, the team, and they receive very nice this, this tournament. Coach, um, last time um, your team played against Zamalek, you lost by 18 points to the coach there in Kigali. What is the mindset going to that game tomorrow? And the question for Yannick, uh, your team is now 2-0. You have, you have limited your uh, opponents to under 61 points. What does it say about this Petro team? So the first answer is, um, for me, <laughs> I believe now is uh, another game, you know? It's an, a new opportunity to, to, to make a new history, no? I think this this game was in the past, so a different a different uh, coach, a different team, the both side. Uh, so now we need to build a victory. Now it's a, no, a new opportunity to to win in the tournament and uh, go ahead. No problem. I, I don't I don't care the, the, what happened the last in, in the life is it's, it's like this. No, I, no not just in the sport, but in the life is the same. If you Make something think in the, in the last in the past. I think it what the what do you want? I don't know if you can put in focus. Now we put focus in what we can do now in this 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 game. Translation. Um, Translation. Yeah, can you repeat the question again? <laughs> Two and ho, and your team is limit all opponents under sixty one points, and you're scoring over ninety points. What does it say? this potential of this petrol team? Um, the crazy thing about it is we're still missing two players due to injury. And like I say, we can get better. Like, we're not playing our best yet. Like, we have three, four different bigs that can give you a nightmare any even night. And everybody's playing the same minutes. We're not playing any big on like more than 20 minutes. And that's the crazy thing about our team. I started today, Johnny started yesterday, and next game we might see Vonded out there, we might see Leo. So our mindset is, whatever start, it started with him. You set the tone early. You go deny the first pass, you go to offensive rebound, you block the first shot, it's on you. So when you start the game that way, when I come off the bench, I have to do the same job that you're doing or you was doing before me. 
So that's our mindset. We don't want the energy to drop. If you watch us on the bench, everybody's cheering for everybody. We don't care who shoot the ball. We always high, everybody's celebrating. That's how, that's how we gotta keep doing every day.